What's going on, people? Uh, people, it's nothing wrong with look, wanting to look nice. I try to look nice, you know what I mean? But when you take it to the extreme and let it stress you out and stuff. Now, it's important now. It's very important. <clears throat> you know, you, you know, like, especially if you're in Esau's kingdom. You know what I mean? If you're in their kingdom, the so-called white man, you know, when you're walking out here in public or whatever, or whatever it is that you're doing. You know what I'm saying? If you're trying to, like, like they say, if you're trying to climb to the top and all that kind of stuff, of course, you, 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 they, they got certain customs and standards and stuff like that you got to meet. You know what I mean? You got to dress the way that they want you to dress. You know what I mean? And that's the same thing it is with family members and stuff. You know what I mean? And I don't know why. I guess I can't help it right now. I'm not really just so caught up and obsessed with it. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter how you like I, I look at a lot of the gold digger pranks I look at a lot of those videos that they do I people do and no matter how they have they call it the swag right no matter how they consider your swag is or whatever but they be thinking that they just some old regular just bum that's how they see it you know but when the when they when the girls turn them down and they go the girls see what type of car they in, then they 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 turn around and be like, oh, is that they turn around and the women switch up and change, and that's not good, you know. That's you know what I mean because it's like my family. Well, I don't want to seem like make it seem like I'm all right. I, I tell you what, I put it like this. How can I say this shit? Because you got to think about how you say things to, you know what I mean, offending. I don't want to, you know, you don't want to offend your family. I, you try not to, but it is the truth what you be saying. But, like, how can I say this shit? I'm trying to figure out how can I say this. I don't know. You, I don't know. I don't even know how to even put the words right now. I'm, I'm really at a loss for words on it right now. I thought I had it together, but I lost the words for it. You know what I mean? But I'm going to say this here. As soon as they see your car, I watch their videos. I, I love the gold digger pranks, really. As soon as they see the cars, then they, how you go from zero to 60 to not liking and can't stand in this person to liking the person as soon as you see the type of car they're in. You know what I mean? And it's like you got to always be looking over your shoulder. Like they had somebody told me, well, you got to step your game up in order to be able to get the girls that you want or you got to do this and that and the third. And I'm looking at I say, this is how stupid that some people can. To me, that's lame. You lamer than a motherfucker if you sit up and you, oh, you got this. It's just, if we step back and look at how stupid that is, it's, it, it's sad in a, in a way because, like, they'll say things like, well, every girl is, wow, you just got to step your game up and, and you know what I'm saying? You got to step your game up and you got to do what it takes is to get you a the woman that you want and all that old kind of stuff. You know what I mean? And it's like, okay, what if I am, let's just say I told somebody this here in the family. I said, you're telling me to do this here. Now, what if I do that and you're telling me, you're basically telling me, Every woman that has that line, they are no good, but you just got to, sometimes you just got to dive in there where you can fit, and you just got to just get what it takes, step your game up, that way you'll get you 
a bunch of women. That sounds crazy, bro. Like, okay, if I'm a bum and I don't have that, okay, of course, no, nobody wants to be with somebody who don't have nothing going for themselves, of course. But at the same time, if you just a regular person, you just, you trying to make it, you, you, you trying to, even if you got a nine to five job and you working this and that, a lot of them ain't even checking for that. You see what I'm saying? It's like, nowadays, relationships is about, it's a business transaction. It's not really a real relationship. You see what I'm saying? And I say, well, what if I'm getting with this person? I'm going to have to always, like, look over my shoulders. Like, it's like you coming in and you're saying, well, I'm a gold digger girl. I might leave you and I may not leave you. It depends on how I'm feeling that day. Now, if you tell me something like that, that's not no reliable, faithful relationship. I'm going to have to always be looking over my shoulder because I'm wondering is you going to walk out on me and be talking to somebody else or whatever, which we don't live in that type of world where the girls or the guys ain't willing to be faithful. It's all about one, two, three, four, five, six people. At one time, it's, it's a temporary relationship now. It's not even a relationship no more. But it's like you got to always be looking over your shoulders that you don't encourage me to step my game up and just get, you just got to have some money so you can get you somebody. Or you got to have some money to be able to do this. Hey, well, look, okay, I got the money, and if they didn't talk to me before I didn't have nothing, what make me think that they're going to have my best interest at heart when I do get something? Because in that moment, I'm going to always be looking, I'm going to be uncomfortable, and I'm going to be looking over my shoulders, and I'm going to be like, I don't know, nah, this person telling me this here, but I really don't really know if they really actually in like that, you know? I really don't know that. I know that. You know what I mean? It's like you got to always look over your shoulder. It's just like if you got a history of robbing somebody, if you got a history of robbing somebody, and the person say, can you let me get, give me a place to stay just one night? Now, I don't know. I'm going to be honest with you. I might snap and I might rob you. I might take everything you got. I don't know, but I still need a place to stay. Now, with you saying that, with you saying that, and you done put the information out there, and I I don't know you, then I want to take that chance because I feel like I'm going to have to sleep with one eye open and the other one closed and the other, I mean, sleep with one eye open and, I mean, closed and the other one open because you just told me that your trustworthy is not 100% reliable. You see what I'm saying? So I'm breaking it down when people tell me that you need to get you, get you some money, step your game up and get out here and get you a girl. And that way you'll, 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 you'll get you some money and get you some stuff going for yourself. And that way women will approach you. It won't be, be easy for you to get you a woman. Show you love because based upon what you got and things of that nature. With, when, you put, when you say that, that means, okay, I'm, gonna have, I'm still going to be looking over my shoulder because it ain't nothing like natural, natural love. Because you still... I'm still going to have it in the back of my mind. I want to do this person really care. They with me. They giving me all the physical attention and this and that and the third. But in the back of my mind, I'm saying I'm still going to have doubts because you only married. I mean, not married. I ain't going to even say that. You only with me because you saw the, the, the things that I had. You only saw the material things that I had. So therefore, at the end of the day, you telling me that you love me, or you saying that you care, or you saying that you this and you that. But I really don't know that. I can't, it's hard to tell that because you're telling me, it's easy for you to say that you love me and you care for me because you've seen the Lamborghini, you see all the nice cars and the expensive, uh, you just you're not liking in resources and maybe that's why they're clinging to you because of the resources or whatever now again I'm not expecting for a female is to be with a guy who don't 
I'm not saying go out there and get you somebody. Um, let's say he, he got to be broke. I'm not sitting up here saying women get y'all a, a, a man, but he got to be broke. No, I'm not saying it's good to get you somebody broke or whatever. No, I'm not saying that. I'm only saying that if the man is, if he just an honest person, he don't commit crimes. He don't. He ain't out here uh, hurting nobody. He ain't doing. He ain't. He just ain't out here sticking people up. He trying to make an honest living. He working from nine to five. At least he working or whatever. And it would take a real woman, a woman, a, a good, sweet soul woman, is to actually understand that and be like, you know what? I'm gonna date this guy because I like, I love him for his personality, and he's working hard and he's trying. You know what I mean? Now that's the type of woman. Now that's rare. To find that type of woman out here like that. But for the most part, the average woman, they is looking for it's all about this now, you know. If you ain't coming that, they gonna look down on you, most of them, you know. And that's just how it is, you know. And because the majority, the majority it, it's let's let's just be honest. The majority rules. And it's like you got to go along with the majority. Like, okay. But do you want the majority like that? No. Um, you can't do nothing without the most high though. You know? Nothing you can do. I mean, you can have all the wealth in the world. Now, they ain't going to take time. Well, a lot of women... They don't care whether you wicked or uh, righteous or wicked nowadays, you know? As long as you got bread, they're going to try to stick with you. You know what I'm saying? Because it ain't no woman now. Even nowadays, a man can cheat on a woman. He can have, he can have several women. Women don't care nothing about that. Most of them, I would say, they don't care nothing about it. He cheated and he done slept with this woman. As long as that man got if she see he's well off and got cars, money, I'm saying for the most part, they don't give a damn about that. They'll be like, well, I want you to, I'll be your side, I'll be your side, bitch. You know, you, you, I don't care as long as you're giving me a piece of the pie. If you can squeeze me in there, I'll be glad. They don't care. You know, and, that, and, 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 and uh, that's the way things are running now. It ain't no, because see, if you're talking about married and all marriage now in 2021 and all of that they got women nowadays they'll tell you shit I don't I'm no social with ties no I don't want no social with ties no now none of that tied down shit I want to be loose and I want to be able to do what I need to do all I want you to, they got some of them is bold enough to say all I want you to do is sponsor my lifestyle and do what I need do without do what the fuck I want you to do Give me my bag, give me my give me my cut, and I'm good. I ain't trying to be tied down in no relationship, nigga. I ain't trying to be no, I ain't trying to be your be your be your bitch. I ain't trying to be your tie. You ain't gonna keep this bitch tied down. Things like that, you know. You ain't gonna be able to, you're not gonna do that with me. Oh hell no. I'm all about my money, baby. I done had women to say, I heard them say that. You know. And and and, and I would say that's the way it is. And I look at a lot of the guys, they test the women. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, they test the women, you know, to see, like, what was that? It was something I was going to say. To see <laughs> if they would be lawyer female. You know? They would test them and see if they lawyer female. I, I, uh, and if they not, if they are not lawyer, well, uh, wait a minute, I lost where I, where I was gonna go, you know. But uh, anyway, that's the way it is, man. You know what I mean? Uh, they are like, if you ain't got the bag, then I heard one woman told one guy named London's way on YouTube. She said. You ain't got a blue check. And I ain't know what the hell. What the hell is a damn blue check? You know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. Like, what the hell? I ain't never heard. I'm 47 years old. 
And I ain't never heard of no shit like that. I ain't never heard of no shit like that. Talking about a blue check. I ain't never heard of no shit like that. And that means they say money and all. But she wasn't explaining to the guy uh, what it meant. Like, it means you ain't got no money. You ain't got the bag. You ain't doing, you know, you ain't doing this and that and the third. And I'm not, again, I'm not saying that a woman's supposed to be with a man. And, and like, get, I'm, I'm not saying go out here and get y'all a, a man with no money. That I want to let him be dry broke. You still should date him. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying how a lot of times they take it over to extreme. You know, like, uh, they don't care. All they care about, some women, all they care about is the money itself. You see what I'm saying? They don't care whether you got the bag. Uh, they don't care whether you got the bag or not. You know what I mean? If you got the bag, they still want to drain you dry. They feel like that you supposed to take your money and you just met them and just spin, 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 spin. They come, they start off, most of them, disrespectful by they not even trying to get to know the person on a personal level. All they go, they go into how much you can do for them, how much money you can spend on them, take them shopping and all that kind of stuff, which I don't, I don't, I'm not disagreeing, uh, man, you should, you should want to be with a man to take you shopping. You should want to do that. But why not take the time, like the brother was saying on YouTube, I want to get to know you before I just jump and just start just driving you off in my car, putting you in my house, and this and that and the third, just because I bring, I say I want to get to know you, I don't want to pull off too fast, I don't want to just, I want to take things slow, and I want to find out who you are and get to know who you are before I go to doing that, this and that and the third. I don't want to just jump up and just go to just doing things. That doesn't mean that that man hates you because he's saying that. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean that they don't care because they're speaking like that. Most of us as men, we want to know what we're getting into, especially if we really care about you. You know what I mean? Now, love at first sight. Yes. Do I agree that a man should take a woman shopping? Absolutely. There. Yeah. But I'm just saying, you know, you, you have to look at the motives behind it sometimes. Some people, some women you can meet and you pick up a good vibe from them and they be, you can pick up, they, they, they really cool and they got a good, sweet personality and things of that nature. And you'd be like, well, since you had a sweet personality and you this and that and the third, I love you and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna take you. If, if you start off with something small, it ain't got to be nothing large or whatever, depending on the type of it depends on how you are convinced in your heart you know if I feel like a person ain't didn't do nothing to well um, wait a minute um, I'm, I'm just talking about like now if the guy the woman should respect it like this here if the guy is just say a woman shouldn't be asking for too much if she said, oh, this is a sweet guy, if he just want to take me on a date and just buy me uh, just, just a little small, like a McDonald's or something, I need to be grateful over that, you know? Because, I'm, if, if, you know, if I was a female, that's how I would think. But I'm, I'm a man, you know what I mean? I would be like, no, this is not right. So if, you know, whatever they offer first, I just go with that because I let the person know that I'm not trying to take advantage of them. that's not me I'm not that type of girl you know it's rare you'll find some women that'll do that though you know um, you know because I, I really want my own bag at the end of the day you know what I mean maybe they should say that you know but most of them are not willing to do that it's getting dark out here too Yeah, I'm gonna have to go up under some light or something. But as long as you can hear me and understand me, that's all. That's what, all what's important. And you can come in here, watch this video, and you can it, it makes sense to you, and people can actually learn from it. You know. But um, uh, again, don't misunderstand me. It's nothing wrong with um uh, a man taking a woman. I agree. That's what I want to do. Take my people out and 
do things and this and that and the third. I'm not against that. But what I am against when you try to take advantage of a person, nobody wants to be taken advantage of. Simple as that. You know? Even females, they don't want nobody, if they're in their right mind, they don't want nobody to take advantage of them. But nowadays, we're living in a, in a world where they want assholes. They want people to, they actually, some women is actually turned on a man that don't have nothing going for himself or something like that. You know what I mean? I guess it seems like I'm talking in circles because I want to make sure that people understand me, you know? Uh, again, let me say it again. I know it seems like I'm running in circles and I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to seem like I'm running in circles. But again, I don't, I'm, I'm with a man, I'm with a woman 100% that wants to be taken care of. I'm with it. I'm with you. You want somebody that's loving and caring and somebody that's going to show the bag and this and that and the third. But when you just only sitting up there thinking about what the person can do for you and you ain't even asked the person who they were, uh, what type of person you is, what type of family background you come from, who you are, what's your name, what you like doing, what are your, what, what do you like, what do you don't like, you know, things like that. But if you just come in like, oh, I like your car and I just want to go riding and this and that and the third, then that's a problem, you know what I mean? But, uh, if a woman tell me, you know what'll turn me on, simple thing. If she say, you got a sweet personality and I love that and I fall, I fall, I'm, I fall in love with you based upon your personality. I, I love you and I love you for your personality. I, I really do. You know what I mean? I fell in love with you based upon your personality. That right there will knock the icing off the cake. And when you do that, when, when a woman have that type of attitude, then the man don't mind going out of his way and making sure that she's provided for. But if they come aggressive and all they want to do is feel like they, they want to see you as an ATM machine, it's going to turn them off. You know, if you come in like that, that's an automatic turn off right there. If you come in like an ATM machine, that's automatically a turn off because you laboring me and viewing me and looking at me as a convenience and it's like, uh, uh, you labor me as an AT. You, if you see me only as an ATM machine or whatever, then I'm not gonna want to be with somebody like that. And we, a man has a right. We have a right just to feel that way. It done gotten a little darker since I've been back there, but I'm gonna go ahead on. I feel like this was an interesting topic. Let me know what. If y'all want me to continue to talk on topics like this here, I think this is a good one, but I don't think nobody, the average person is not going to sit up here and just watch a whole uh, 27 or 30 or 40 minute blog, you know what I mean, listening to me going in circles with this video. So, I'm going to see y'all later and I'll be back.